Hi, my name is Natalie and welcome to my Creators Corner with Moya Money. This month's Creators Corner is all about the fundamentals of digital content creation. So it only makes sense that the first episode is about all the things that you need to consider when you want to start your digital content creation journey. So the first thing that you need to consider when you want to start your digital content creation journey is what topics are you going to cover? What do you want your content creation to be about? I think there's a huge misconception that there's only a couple of niches of content creation that you could go to most of the popular ones are like fashion lifestyle beauty and many other popular niches but there are actually a lot of routes that you could go with your content creation you could even become like a DIY content creator you do home decor you could do crime documentaries you could talk about movies there's so many different avenues of content that you can take that are outside of the usual another dilemma is do you follow your passion or do you create content according to what's trending and I personally would say kind of try to find a way to do a little bit of both because what's trending is definitely what's going to get you out there however if you create content about something you actually don't enjoy it is going to be really hard in the long run to keep that up and it actually might show in your content that you actually don't enjoy this try to find a way to mesh what you enjoy talking about with what's trending so let's say you are a lifestyle content creator like myself I create restaurant vlogs and reviews as part of my content so if there's a trending sound on tiktok you can always just use that trending sound but adapt it to your specific content now that you figured out what you want your content to be about you then need to decide what platforms do you want to put your content on so of course some of the major platforms right now are instagram youtube and tiktok i would say those are the main three platforms but one thing i've definitely learned about building different social media platforms is that they are all different it's very important that you have tailor-made strategies for each platform that you want to grow your digital content business on for example instagram is a lot more aesthetic content tiktok is a lot more fun and relatable and people are just being themselves having a good time and of course youtube is a lot more in-depth you have a lot more room to say much more and to also just do more alternatively you can create one piece of content and then distribute that content onto different platforms i could make a youtube video about going to a certain restaurant and then i would also make a reel of that same restaurant and then put the reel on instagram with a certain sound i could put that same reel on tiktok but maybe i'll use a trending sound just to try and make it different across the different platforms and then you also need to think about your audiences this is something that i did touch on when i was talking about the platforms but as i mentioned not only are the platforms different but the audiences on each platform is different and they resonate with different things just make sure that you read the room and you create the type of content for the type of platform and lastly now that you have planned what you want to talk about and where you want to talk about it it's time for us to discuss equipment you really do not need state-of-the-art equipment to get started on your digital content creation journey you can always upgrade and invest your equipment as you grow and go along when i started my digital content creation journey i was just using the phone that i had which was an iphone 6s and it only had like 16 gigabytes of memory so sometimes i literally could not even finish a vlog or sometimes I'd literally have to take my laptop to a restaurant, vlog, and then transfer files so that I have more space to vlog again. You can only imagine how administrative that was. You really do not need state-of-the-art equipment. I would really suggest that you just get started with what you have, where you are, that is more than good enough. So yes, you really do not need expensive equipment to start. And then also make sure that you have really great lighting when you're creating your content. Because if you don't have good lighting, then your content really can turn out not so great. And then other things you should just consider once you've started your content creation journey is just putting yourself out there just let people know what you do where you do it where they can find you and keep creating be consistent and don't give up and once you have gotten started with your content creation journey and now you are raking in the funds you're getting all that money you're probably going to need a platform that's going to help you with your financial management and this is exactly where moya comes in because they are an amazing platform for freelancers that makes it super easy for you to invoice your clients to remind them to pay you or to even give you early payouts when you haven't been paid and you're really down bad and need that money i would definitely suggest that you sign up for moya just to make your life a lot easier when you start making money so that you don't get stressed with the administrative tasks of content creation and you still have time to actually do what you enjoy instead of spending time creating manual invoices and just going through the most with clients you can sign up for moya by clicking the link in the description box and if you enjoyed this 
episode of Creators Corner, please do make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to Moya's YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out when the next episode drops. I really hope that you gain something from this episode and I will see you in episode 2 where we will be discussing the technical curation of content and I will see you in episode 2 soon. Bye!